Journey end. We're making it, boys. Episode four, finally. I, I never sit down and watch more than like two at most in a day. I'll be honest. This is this is draining right now. Also, because I'm taking breaks between and editing all the videos and then getting to this. So <laughs> it's been a long day. Hopefully, we're almost there though. Uh, I'm out to be finished, so hopefully things go well. I'm enjoying this a ton, and I'm very excited to see where we go from here. I still have my feelings that our bearded dwarf needs to be dead for us to get a fresh start at things. Doesn't need to happen, but I just feel like it's going to happen. And we haven't met anybody that we are going to probably party with at some point. So those are two options for us to, I guess, head down here. Uh, we learned a lot about the magic system or some things regarding the magic and a whole bunch of other things in the world. And I uh, got some relationships, stuff, just things that were fun. So I'll be excited, I guess, to see what they go next. Uh, this is a Toho show, as I always like to say. So they will block this at some point. So if you want to watch the reaction of this, it will be in the description at some point. Uh, probably a couple weeks from now and you can still watch that from there uh, if you know how to get around that at all please leave any feedback i would love to know so that i don't have that happen anymore uh if you like it all though hit the like and subscribe to me not to me feel free to stick around for the discussion leave any comments with this episode or series let's go on with them now i think i understand why we did four and one like now i think i get it i i, I think i still a million percent think one episode would have been plenty and they could have just carried along normally and it would have worked no issue but if you want to get i guess the prologue to all of this before we set out on what the main quest i guess of the entirety of the story in this journey will probably be you need to get to this point uh so i i can understand completely i guess why they decided to go this route uh, and I think that makes plenty of sense. And it is very exciting to think about how we have retraced a lot of steps leading up to this point. And we will do it once again as we go to the Demon King's castle one final time is what you would hope in, in hopes that we can reconnect and learn of how to communicate and speak and see with the dead in certain ways and be able to uh, talk to our boy again, which will be, will be an interesting one to think about how they get there. 10 year journey my god it's gonna be a it's gonna be a movie <laughs> i don't i wonder too we've done so many time skips like i wonder if we'll do the entirety of the journey up there and that's literally the main quest here or if it's going to be something i'll only take a little bit to get to i'd argue it'll take at least this whole season i don't think that's going to be the entire story of this story i could be wrong I'd be okay if that's wrong, but I just feel like that wouldn't be something that they, I feel like once we get there, we would be able to find more and more purpose and things to kind of dive into. But at the same time, maybe not, because if we are following Freyrin's journey, this would be the thing that she's like really set out after. But I guess as we talk to our boy a bit more, like when we get up there, if all of this is actually true and works out exactly how expected, uh, he could lead us into a direction that will allow us to kind of See things or venture out and want to find more learn more or do whatever the case is so i wouldn't be against that and i don't think that that's necessarily a bad idea um this was a fantastic one i was happy to meet our boy again uh, our dwarf buddy and he is still kicking somehow i i would strongly believe he's not going to be much longer and despite what he said uh and we probably won't ever see him again within the story I, we could be wrong again on that, but I just feel like there's a big chance that they might go a route where we don't. So that's okay regardless, but him being able to set us up, I think it's like the funniest thing, but also like the sweetest thing, how they were all like so concerned and worried for her and the way that she thinks and does things that they all like tricked her in ways and set up things <laughs> for those stuff to like fall in line and perfectly work to kind of uh, help her and venture her uh, or expand her, I guess, as a person a little bit and give her new experiences and things and hopefully, you know, get her a bit more on the right track to be a bit more in touch with her, her feelings and emotions and wanting to connect with other people rather than looking at everything from like a pure, like efficient standpoint or whatever it is that she's kind of looking at things. Uh, so I, I like how they all kind of coordinated and <laughs> worked well for something like that, uh, which is great. We start off by cleaning off the, uh, the oceans over here and we do whatever we have to for the sunrise to ultimately come but the problem is Freeran can't wake up so 
we have to wake her up and basically give her the mom treatment here, which is the funnest sequence ever. I absolutely love this. Uh, she looks adorable doing this. <laughs> it's so fun uh, just to kind of watch happen. Uh, and I, I don't know. I love it. I think it's a great, great thing. And exactly how excited she gets. She's in there, the, the warp that she's eating or whatever it is in comparison to how she is in the morning. It's fantastic. But great great time to be able to like montage us through and be able to see how exactly all that happened we cleared it up things look great and it leads us into having to go see the the sunrise here uh which is something that she doesn't want to do because she doesn't view a need to but she wants to do it now because she's like uh i might have a reason to which kicks her back to a flashback and a memory that she has of the others trying to get her to so that she doesn't kind of miss out and it's experience that everybody wants to have together and if you don't come it kind of takes away from that and it, it upsets everybody a little bit but also because we know the kind of person that you are and we'd like to see you see us happy about something right and that would definitely make you happy and make the whole experience and everything great which is really sweet and she completely skipped out on it and i love the idea that we are retracing all these things because she has regrets uh, and that's essentially everything that she's doing is to hold like not regret these things anymore and kind of be a bit more open and honest with herself uh as opposed to where she was at those moments which works out really well i like how she's like ah it wasn't worth waking up or good but then the moment she looks over and sees the excitement and joy that somebody else is getting out of it and then looks back you can kind of enjoy this moment so much with somebody else that it makes it worth it which is what she absolutely loves we find our boy uh apparently these are his parents souls or whatever and they're resting here so he apparently is still here back home we decided that we're gonna meet back up and i completely forgot about that conversation <laughs> He's like, oh, we'll be back up. We'll hang out again at one time in my hometown or something, which ends up working out perfect. Uh, so everything goes really well there. And then we find out, we learn about uh, her master, who is this person that is basically inventing all of this stuff and really go to kickstart on a bunch of shit for magic, which apparently she's a thousand years old now, which is the fucking craziest thing. I could have sworn it would only be like a hundred or two. So that's even more wild. Um, interesting, I guess, that she's around for so long. She's an elf. We haven't really ran into any other ones either. Like, so she's not alone. Or maybe she is. I don't know. I'd be interested to, to meet some more and learn some more. I wonder what exactly the, the roles of these other elves are. If they all pick up uh, being mages or not. Or like what they are. I'm, I'm interested. Anyways, uh, they have a lot of stuff that's pretty cool about giving us some backstory a little bit uh, behind them. And behind her master so that's this person that we see in the op which makes perfect sense uh, basically has all the knowledge in the fucking world and has set all this stuff up understanding the type of person that free is and understanding at some point in her life that she's going to regret these things and look back on it and want to change them and then she won't be able to so she left everything in this book to, be able to help her which is funny she just keeps getting set up by people which is great i love that and then we get to describe this perfect area that we're onwards to uh that they're calling like a heaven like place which is I mean, it looks looks like it from the things that they're envisioning, at least. And you can talk to souls and do whatever else. And that's where we'll be able to learn more about the person that we want and not have any regrets as much anymore in life, which hopefully all goes well. Uh, and hopefully that's a real thing. And we actually do figure it out. I also like their, their thought process of like, I don't necessarily believe in all this, but it's not wrong to, I guess, believe in it. Like there's always something good about having things that you're looking forward to and believing in and, uh, giving you like another purpose in a way to act a certain way or, or whatever the situation is. And I, I think like just giving her that extra thing to add into her life would be like something good to just to kind of hope for and think about, uh, which is kind of what it is hoping that this is a real place and all this stuff really exists. And it's just the adventure that you'll be able to go on along the way that ultimately lead to you having such a great life uh, when you reach the end of it. So hopefully things all go well. We find out that the Demon King's castle is up there, which is fucking crazy. Uh, I don't know if it's occupied by anybody currently or what it is. I don't know. So hopefully, I don't know. It's going to be a crazy journey, though, which I'm excited for. And I also love him just asking her about like how she is as a master and all that stuff and how she doesn't take an interest in me and is only worried about you know reminiscing with the old days and stuff. But then... You know, the more you think about it, oh, she actually gives me all of this stuff and, oh, she's being considerate of me as a person and my time and all this, you know, and uh, he's able to reflect on the conversation they had before about how she's like, oh, it's useless to take up an apprentice or be with somebody else or, you know, travel alone is the, the way to go. And you always want to 
end up being like that, right? And he's able to be like, no, she's changing a lot. She she truly is trying her best, and she's a, she's a good master at the end of the day. Even if she's doing everything and you think it's for her own good, which a lot of it is, she she means well, uh, and she's doing things the best that she can, which I really, really like. And she's excited now to go on this journey, and so am I. And I am very thrilled to see what's to come next. I... Don't know how much more I have to say right now. I think that's a phenomenal four episode span to kind of set us up and get us going. And I loved every second of it so far. Uh, first impressions, I guess, overall of everything that I was able to witness and see today. Lovable characters. Freeman's fantastic. The other like characters that we get introduced to like in her party and stuff before were all great and i love the way that we are mixing in memories as we kind of go along uh instead of just giving like full backstories and stuff like that now we're able to do before but we learned enough about these characters in the first 10 to 15 minutes that it made it kind of worth it in a way like it feels like we understand them already enough uh, that these things can kind of hit and work really well. Uh, I love us retracing our steps and, you know, adventuring back to these areas and doing things and getting to see the different sides of these characters and people who just don't understand other people. Like, whatever the situation is, I don't know. It's a really wonderful form of storytelling, and I'm, I'm loving it a lot. I don't, I don't know if there's, like, a ton for me to constantly, like, speak on and talk about, and we'll have to see going forward, um, but that's not even the biggest thing. It's just, it's so enjoyable uh, and it immerses me so well and it does uh, such a good job at just displaying the things that it is trying to and also like not forcing things down your throat in a way, like of allowing things to breathe, giving you room for characters to kind of just like have moments where we flash between a few things or literally times where we just drop the music entirely and it's just characters walking in an area or just like doing a task or something. But it just, it, it, I don't know, the immersion I get is so great. And I, I'm liking it a lot, so I'm very, very excited to see what's to come next. Not even to mention that it's also just animated and incredible and looks fantastic. And I'm, it's a treat. It really is. Everything about it. The music, the, the characters, the, the story, the fucking animation, everything about it is so, so well done. And I'm thrilled to be able to go on this journey for the next six months of this. <laughs> excited to see what's to come uh if you liked any of these videos at all please leave a like and subscribe do mean a lot to me check out the other videos on the channel leave any comments with this episode or series if you got anything else you want me to watch in this fall season as we are now starting that please leave any recommendations i would love to see i got a couple things in mind but you know there's always room and sometimes we'd be dropping things so you never know what's going to happen i'll be back for episode five next friday you guys have a good one peace